this is the moment that a murder for hire case almost went sideways. A wealthy doctor looks straight into the hidden camera filming him as he sets up the calculated killing of his estranged wife. Today, I talk to the man in the driver's seat during the deal, the would-be hitman. Dr. Ira Bernstein wanted to permanently silence his estranged wife, Susan, who he claims is a greedy nag. I'm with my mom in Florida. Stop lying! So he and his younger mistress, Kelly Grabella, hire who they think is a hitman, Marquenzie Lusant, to murder Susan. His credentials? He's a car salesman Kelly had known for years. He just wants to know the main thing. To prove Markenzie is the real deal and not a police informant, Kelly and the doc first asked the salesman to rough up two insurance adjusters who had been investigating Bernstein's podiatry practice for fraud. A few days later, Markenzie delivers these chilling photos. When Kelly first looked at those pictures, the first thing she said was, these, these look like cop pictures. Why did she go through with that? The emotions were, were outweighing everything else that they were going through. Here's where the podiatrist and his girlfriend take the bait. He was satisfied with the meeting that these two insurance investigators received. Yes, he was. And they look realistic. They do the, look realistic. The artists worked, had worked on that movie, FX. That's right. These pictures are fake. We took numerous pictures, you know, hundreds of pictures, and just so we can get one of each person being beat up that, that looked more realistic. Did you pay the money? Yeah, we, yeah the, the, money was... the money was paid. So who ratted out the foot doctor and his girlfriend's murder for hire plot? Was Markenzie a legitimate hitman? He's not a hitman, he's, he's a good man. A good man who blew the whistle. You were the man for the job. Uh, I pretended to be. Markenzie tells me Kelly came into the luxury car dealership and asked if he knew anyone who could kill her boyfriend's wife. She was very clear about it. She that. was very clear and blunt about it. What made you go to police? When I look at her facial expression and I know she was serious. He was the fourth person that they had contacted to kill Susan Bernstein, and he's the only one that went to the police. The only one? Only one. They were going to keep hunting until they found somebody who was going to do it. The Ramapo police asked the car salesman to close the biggest deal of his life, getting both Kelly and Ira to map out their murder for hire plot on camera. This is all new to you. All new to me. Did you ever think your life was in danger? Yes. Especially at this moment. At one point, the doctor actually sees the hidden camera. Yes. Markenzie reassures the doctor and Kelly he's simply a salesman with a tricked out car. It was a great shot. He points right at it. He goes, what is that? And what does Markenzie say? He says, well, that's what my kids, they plug into and uh, for their headsets. So the doctor kept looking at it. He, he stared back and he says, I don't want to end up on television. I don't want to end up on television. Yeah. As in an investigative yeah. journalism show. That camera Dr. Bernstein discovered in Markenzie's back seat was actually set by the cops to catch the deal of death on tape. And it didn't take Kelly long. One step closer, you understand? No. <laughs> One step closer, we'll be okay. Okay, here's the deposit. Let me get you the AOK okay next week. The recordings gave the Ramapo police all the evidence they needed to arrest Kelly for conspiracy to murder Ira's wife. But cops sit tight until they've got enough to nail the doctor, too. At one point, she even says, like, you know, when this is over, you know, we're going to party like no other. But the foot doctor had wisely tiptoed around Markenzie. He never verbally gives the final go ahead. Up until that moment, it was Kelly Gribbeluk, who was the mouthpiece for the conspiracy on Ira's behalf. We did have prior to that her meeting with him and uh, video and photographs of that, but it wasn't enough to actually charge him. So when Markenzie shows the doc the pictures of the two busted up insurance adjusters, police ask him to set the final trap. You want this done by the weekend? Give or take. I mean, it doesn't have to be done this weekend, but, you know. OK, my guy definitely would get it done. Markenzie says, listen, I need to know. We need to have some sort of conclusion here. You know, either I'm out or, you know, but it's your decision. It has to be your decision. 
Cops say that's when the good doctor shoots himself in the foot. And he makes a mistake. He says, if it comes from Kelly, it came from me. Detectives tell me Kelly showed up a few days later and simply typed the word yes into her phone. How important was that to your case? It was very important. There was a few critical moments, and that was one of them. So he wanted you to kill his wife, Susan. Mm -hmm. With that, the detectives swoop in and nab the doctor and his mistress, interrogating both at the same time in separate rooms. It was a bad thing what you guys were doing. Really bad. You're going to be charged with a solicitation to solicit someone to go kill Susan. Up next, the brilliant doctor plays dumb. So through the medicine? And bails on his mistress. He didn't bail Kelly out. No. You're willing to take the fall for him? Is that how much you love him? We had to be sure that Dr. Bernstein was involved fully as well. So cops put together their own elaborate plan to get Kelly to rat out her lover. 